My name is Sydney Britton Washington, and I'm a comedian. I moved to California because my sister was on crack, so I knew that crack was bad because it like separates families because they don't want me to see that, and uh, and I knew I was like, you know, I'm never gonna do crack. But that was it. I was like, as long as I don't do crack, it's okay. So I went to college, and you know, drinking, drinking was very heavy. You know, you just. You want to be in. You want to be cool. You want, you know, you're away from home. You're like, oh my goodness, all this liquor is free. You know, like all these dudes just wanted to give me liquor, and I was like, I'm gonna take it all. And uh, that's how I build a strong tolerance for alcoholism. Because when you get free drinks, you're like, why would I do anything else? You know. And uh, this was like eight years, eight years just drinking, waking up, eating a bacon, egg, and cheese, and starting my day over with more drinking and more drugs and just brunches and parties. And then last year I lost my job because it was literally every day. I was doing like 10, 12 shots, uh, cocaine, more parties. Like I wouldn't go to a baby shower or a funeral or a wedding without being fucked up, you know? And then that was just a long period of you don't know the difference between being blackout or just being tired or you need sleep or, you know, you just need to not be in a club, you know, and I was in club situations all the time, like everything was a club. And the thing with addiction and alcoholism, you you have so many things going on and you don't have to focus. You could just, you could go to this party and you go to this baby shower and this funeral and all drunk, you know, but... You want to be present because you, you miss out on so many things. And, you know, talk. You got to talk. It's hard to talk and say, hey, I have a problem, you know. And that's the first step to saying, hey, if I'm drinking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's a lot. You know, that's, that's, that's a lot on your body. And you need to start thinking about why are you drinking? Are you drinking to have a good time? Can you be in that situation without liquor? If you can't be in that situ situation without liquor, you need to not be there because it's not fun. The best thing you could do is get help by talking to someone that's not your friends because mo nine times out of 10, your friends are probably going through the same thing as you are. Uh, there's de a lot of outlets for alcoholism and drug abuse and just walk in. You know, All you have to do is walk in and sit down and they're, they're willing to listen and then you can reevaluate if you have a problem or not and then that's the first step. You're not alone because I'm here and uh, you will be okay because I'm okay and I'm, I'm feeling great and I feel a lot better than I did before and uh, you will be like that one day. You will be okay.